Do you like arcade-style sports games? Well, if so, this is definitely a game in that genre. It's Slam and Jam 95 for the 3DO. Come on! Slam and Jam 95 is an arcade-style basketball game. It features a ton of fast break play, huge dunks, massive blocks, but it still has at least a nod to a more realistic sort of game because it's got full 5-on-5 five five teams, it's not 2-on-2 two two like NBA Jam. You can turn player fatigue on and have uh, substitutions during the game from a full roster of players. And you have three different settings for how often fouls are called. Off, lenient, or strict. Although even on the lenient setting, you'll still get a decent amount of fouls called. Lobs it inside, a picture of denial. He takes it up. But even if there are tiny hints towards realism, this is still an arcade game at heart. Besides a button for speed burst, you've got your standard passing and shooting buttons on offense, and steals and blocking on defense. You also have a limited ability to direct your teammates to do things for you. Like here, I call for a pick, and then once this guy sets it, I drive down the middle. You can also direct your teammates to clear out of the way for you, so you're isolated one-on-one -on -one with the defender. On defense, you can call for double teams. Uh, but there's no plays you can design or playbooks or anything. It's just these uh, very basic things you can do while playing to direct the action on the court. As I said before, there are fouls in the game if you choose to turn them on, and the free throw interface is pretty simple. You just uh, hold down the C button, and when the two baskets are aligned, you let go. Uh, the speed of that moving icon uh, varies depending on how good a shooter your player is. He takes it up. Delivers the thunder. Slam and Jam 95 also features instant replays. And they're pretty cool. You can uh, rewind or fast forward, or if you tap the buttons, you can advance frame by frame, uh, backwards or forwards. And you can even move the camera to any place on the court. But you can't rotate it or change the angle of elevation or anything. But since the players are all 2D sprites, that would probably look pretty funny anyway. This game also has a season mode. You can either play 12 or 13 games, a 26 game season, 52 games, or a full 82 game schedule. As you might expect, it also keeps track of standings and statistics. From way downtown, he takes it up. If playing a full season sounds like too much trouble for you, there's also a mode where you can just go right to the playoffs and do only playoff games. Uh, but you can't have both a season and a playoff schedule saved at one time. The game will warn you if you try to create a playoff schedule while you already have a full season saved, or vice versa. Rejected. Slam and Jam 95 is a good and solid sports title for the 3DO. Uh, but for me, it just lacks a little bit that keeps it from being a really great game. For one thing, this game lacks an NBA license, so you don't have the real players in the game. This doesn't really bother me much, but I can see why someone might not like it. I don't know if it's fair to stack this up against NBA Jam, but in comparison, Slam and Jam just feels a little bland to me. When I remember playing NBA Jam on the Atari Jaguar, it just seemed like with each new player you'd try, you were discovering new dunks, whereas with this game, it seemed like it didn't take long before it felt like I'd seen it all. Plus, everything in NBA Jam is even more exaggerated, 
You know, the dunks here are big, but in NBA Jam, sometimes it's like you're jumping out of the arena. And never mind all the extra characters you can unlock in NBA Jam, like Bill Clinton or a Heavy D. You know, it's just silly stuff like that, it just gives it a lot more personality. But this is still a fun game, and would probably be good playing against a friend with fatigue and fouls completely off, and just play some straight up, pure, arcade basketball. So in conclusion, I'll give this game three and a half out of five jams. Or, or whatever. Turnover!